What's up, YouTube land? Coming back at you at the shop. Working on that old seat bracket I was telling you about. And I've changed my mind. I'm gonna actually yank that thing. Since I got that CNC plasma, the table, I can actually cut out what I want now. And that four inch grinder is always good to have. But uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. All right. I got a new project. I'm gonna show you another video. I'm gonna do that one. That's a 1998 custom soft tail. One project at a time. And that one too. So this had a spot right here for this bracket. So we ditched that one. And uh, we got this other bracket that I'm gonna lay in here and show you guys right quick. All right, let me get it all together. Walk out by the truck. And uh, this is gonna be pretty cool. Get it all set up kind of for you guys so I got the hose this is what's going to actually bolt it down and I got to drill these since this is a bench truck these didn't come pre-drilled and uh, this right here is the other piece that's going to keep the seat rip it this way yep that's right that is a we got this little pin right here and uh, when it's all together it'll, it'll be a little bit more better to look at but uh, I made another piece and the pivot point's gonna be right here and it's gonna go up and down but that'll be pretty cool that way the seat you know you can pull this Move the seat up and down, and you get down to your speaker box, and that's yet another build that'll be coming in. But uh, we're gonna get the get these two pieces welded in, test feet the the seat, and then go from there. This is a swivel point that I'm gonna bolt to the actual chair. That way it'll. it'll Put the seat back up and down. Got it all ready. Get a practice cut on it. And uh, we'll see how it goes.
make a depend bracket. I'm gonna double up on it, and uh, I got it all set, and ready to go. This is this is what it kind of looks like right here. Cut these two out. We might have to trim down here on the bottom a little bit once we look at it. But uh, this sucker's ready to go. Here we go. Make sure I put the. Well, I think we got it. I got the pin pretty much like I want it. Ah, I don't really know about the, the level or bending it down a little bit. I'm still thinking about that. But uh, we got the seat bracket where the front, the front's pretty cool. Master lock has a pin and it's got a little pull tab on it that you can actually pull and uh, without taking like a snap wire or whatever you want to call them off this one just pull it and bend it to the side check this out this is what I, this is what i came up with you pull it and uh, that way everything stays together you can clock this the way you want it and then uh, this is the uh pull tabs i was talking about just click them like that and slide it out. Slide it back in. And then you can you can clock these. We'll do it here in a minute. Anyway, this is what I originally came up with. And uh, we threw that out the window. Rounded it off. And that's what I came up with. For now, what do you guys think? Not too bad, huh? So, you click this to the front, and then you can, you can raise it up. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. There you go. Just like that. That way, you got more room. This is leaning towards the dash. Kind of give you more more look at it but, uh, you clink it back get it back in and it's locked yeah I got everything like I wanted on that one pasture side so with the driver's side I, the hole is a little bit different placements in the uh, passenger side so i'm going to be doing some tweaking on specific locations but the uh pretty much the basics what it looks like it's it's we tilt it up and forward and move it back and forward from the stock position and uh within probably man 10 seconds you can have that that seed out of there but uh as far as you know like Take it down to a quarter mile, you know, they may not frown on all that. This is just for looks mostly. And I got my DVM racing on it. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Didn't I'm gonna do the probably the same bracket on the bottom, just like that one. It, it might hold, like I said, the holes might be different on it. But uh, as far as moving it up and down, when I get take the the video of the subwoofer I'm gonna build it'll be a lot easier you know I can see where the, the seat rests on the back of that subwoofer box or how far I want it to, to rest and uh, it's 
swing it back and forth, test it out. The more, you know, like, you know, as far as subwoofers in a pickup, you're, you're limited on the space, on how big of a magnet on, on the subwoofer is. Some of those magnets are huge now. I hadn't looked at the, the subwoofer I got from Rocket Files Gate, but it's pretty, it's pretty big, you know. But uh, as far as that goes, it's gonna be probably several videos down the road. I'm gonna do that other bracket and get it fitted and I'm gonna show you guys on how that's gonna work out. But uh, yeah, that turned out pretty good.